we understand that every business is in business to make money and to serve its shareholders and to serve its customers. But very increasingly, um, we've started to think about business as a triple bottom line. And that's, that's a, it's been around for a while, but it's never really been taken that seriously by, by large corporations and by business as a whole, mostly because we didn't need to. And it's what, it's, it's what economists call the hidden costs of, of doing business, right? So um, the triple bottom line really says that you take the first bottom line, which is profit, but then you add people and you add planet to that. So you have profit, people, planet, not necessarily in that order. And so you, you evaluate your actions and your strategies by not just are they good for the first bottom line, is it making money, but is it having a positive impact on your community and, your, and, and society, and is it having a positive impact um, on, on the environment. And I think that that kind of, that kind of approach is really what elevates uh, a business and in today's world frankly gives it a competitive advantage. Companies that elevate themselves to that level and ask like am I really playing a meaningful role in the world today will eventually be more successful in their business and we've seen multiple examples of that. The spirit of corporate social responsibility sounds great but the minute you relegate that to just one aspect of the business it will inevitably be the least important aspect. So it's pretty much the same as a decade or two ago, uh, perhaps even before that, a lot of uh, management thinkers started saying the CEO has to be the chief marketing officer of the organization because marketing is not a department. Marketing is how a brand creates relationships with its consumers. In much the same way, Corporate social responsibility has to be the CEO, the board, the, the leadership team. It has to be their responsibility and their focus. And that's when it will start to be meaningful. Purpose is important for a brand because it helps brands win in the marketplace. Let's be clear about that from day one. As I said, this is not, a, uh, this is not an altruistic endeavor. This is not something that businesses are in business to make a profit and to succeed and to deliver for their, for their shareholders and their, their customers. Purpose actually helps you do that because in today's world of a million highly fragmented and relatively undifferentiated product and service options, consumers are increasingly gravitating towards companies that show that they have, uh, they stand for something higher than purely making an extra dollar. And so if, if used rightly, not just at the consumer level, but at every, in every aspect of the business, purpose can be a defining competitive advantage. For a brand to determine its purpose, I think the first thing to see is uh, what are you passionate about as a business? What are you really in the business of? It's a two-step process. It starts with introspecting into who you are and why that matters, really, to the world, not just to yourself. And then it, the second step is to make sure that you have um, imbued every aspect of the organization with that, with that purpose. There's a number of benefits for brands uh, with purpose, but I think the, the first one is that it, it gives everyone in the organization a motivation. Innumerable studies have shown that human beings, as human beings, we are we are driven far more by a sense of purpose than we are by immediate commercial gain. I'm not saying making money isn't important, it's just that at, after a certain point that becomes parity and the difference in motivation uh, is brought about by the feeling that you are, you are part, of a, a, part of something bigger than yourself. The second part of that, which comes naturally from the first, is that if you have a purpose and you express it in every aspect of your organization, people pick up on that. Consumers pick up on that. Partners and vendors pick up on that. The stock market picks up on that. And it gives you more of a buffer, more of a premium that helps you in the bad times and accelerates you further in the good times. It's, it's the spark that keeps you going.